We're going to practice an Ohm's Law question, and I'm going to do it with that proper grasp method. Um, it's a method we're going to push you to do all through grade 9 science, grade 10 science, as you get into grade 11 science courses. Uh, it's just a sort of standard method to do it. So read over your question. Read it over, interpret it. Um, it says something about the resistance is 144. We'll need that later. A current of 8.8. 0.852, and then back here is the question of voltage drop. So those are kind of the three important things that I need out of the question. <clears throat> uh, keeping track of it, the G stands for given. So we were given that the resistance was 144, and it's got those funny units of ohms. And we were given that the current, capital I for current, was 0 0.852 and it's got the units of amps. The question's asking or we're required to find the voltage drop, or capital V. The A, some people call it analysis. I'm not actually positive what it means anymore. Oops. Analysis. Um, really, that means think about what equation you need. We've only got one equation, so it's not too, too bad. We know that V equals I times R. Uh, because of my math background, I often skip the multiplication sign, uh, but there's a little X in between the I and the R. That's the A step. The S step stands for substitution or solving sometimes. Now we actually solve it. V is equal to I times R. We know the I number is 0.852. We know the R number is 144. I'm okay if you don't put units in that step, as long as you take the time to put the units in your given. I'm okay if they're not in your math. Now you get out your calculator, crunch it out, and your calculator, I practiced it, your calculator is going to spit out the number 122.68. Um, eight, eight, and that's a number that's in volts. <clears throat> that's not wrong, but we can do a little bit better. If we go back to the question, the 144 was a three-digit number, three significant digits. The current is 0.852. That's also three significant digits. So our final step of salt, well, our second final step is we have to round it to the right number of digits. So this 122, we're going to round it off. Sometimes they do a squiggly equal sign because we're rounding. Three digits means it's got to be 122 or 123. Rounding it off, that's closer to 123. So our final answer is 123 volts. In the GRASP method, the P stands for paraphrase. That just means write a sentence to actually answer the question. The voltage drop is 123 volts. That's how you do the Ohm's Law part using that GRASP analysis part.